Today on Independent Ground, we're going to talk about mastering your music project and should you do it. Yeah, be right back. Yo, welcome to the Independent Grind, the show that gives inspiration and tips to creative minds and entrepreneurs through music and film. I'm your host, Dramatic Gamble. Today, we're going to talk about mastering your music product or project and what is mastering. Now, I'm going to give you a, a little quick one sentence definition on mastering because it's a lot. Somebody can go in and tell y'all about mastering somebody that has way more expertise than me, but I'm going to give you an idea of what mastering is if you don't have a clue. Mastering, it's a form of audio post-production. It's the process of fusing the collective sounds in your audio mix, maintaining balance across the entire recording, and preparing the finished music project for distribution. So really, mastering is like the last step of the creative process. It gets your music ready to be released. It gives it an equal sound. You know, if you got a whole project, it gets all those levels straight. You may go to a recording studio and they may mix your song. Some people say they mix and master, but mastering is a whole nother process than recording and mixing someone. So you can get somebody to record you, just hit the record button, they can mix and do whatever they need to do and they can fin have a finished product for you, ready for you to listen to. But the problem comes in when you wanna get your music professionally released, like through websites, on YouTube, for the radio, if you want your music played in, in cars and clubs, to give it an equal sound. You want your music to be competing with Lil Wayne or one of your favorite artists. You want your music to sound just as good. See, a problem gonna come in if you don't have your music mastered by somebody that's kinda know what they doing is if you get your music to a DJ in the club, he play a Drake song, then you know he go ahead and throw yours in. Drake song is up here and your song is down on this level. You know, he gotta raise the volume up for yours. You want your music to sound just as good as Drake. You want your music to sound just as good as Lil Wayne, you know? So that's one process I don't think you should um, really skip. I think it's worth it. Um, it's a lot of different ways. A lot of different people are gonna have different ways of mastering songs, but that's just pretty much what mastering does to give your music a, a professional sound. So, um, we're going to take a small break and I'll be right back. Yeah. Cause you said that you would, but you are be some liars They wanna see me doing good, but really not better than them They come around when it's more beneficial to them I don't do no 9 to 5, so I'm hustling hard to get some bread Maybe I move to Atlanta, sip on this fanta, listen to voices in here And they kill me when they say, don't forget me when you blow up But every time I do a show, they don't never show up the people say that they damn for me, they don't even come and support me. Uh, won't even hang up a poster, won't even pass out a flyer. Won't even sell me no tickets, you say that you would, but you are be some liars. They wanna see me doing good, but really not better than them. They come around when it's more beneficial to them. I don't do no nine to five, so I'm hustling hard to get some bread. Maybe I move to Atlanta, sip on this fanta, listen to voices in here. And they kill me when they say, don't forget me when you blow up. But every time I do a show, they don't never show up. All right, man, that was two. That was uh, one of my tracks, uh, Pray For Mercy, the intro part of it. Um, I let you hear the sound, the side that wasn't mastered, what came straight from the studio, and the one that was mastered. It makes a big difference. See, mastering somebody that knows what they're doing, you might have too much bass in it, drowning your vocals, they could fix that. You don't want your hi-hats too high where it's peaking. They might have to compress it and raise the overall levels. So... When you get that done by a professional person, you're able to compete with what's out there already. That's what they try to do, get your sound to sound just as good as the professional people. And so uh, if you really care about your music, that's one thing that I think that you should try to do mastering. Now, they got some sites online with 
the computer master your songs for you. You're just going to have to play around with it and, and see how that works. But I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking none of it. But you want your music to sound good and just as good as everybody else stuff. So I think mastering is an important process of the record of the creative process it is after you get through with everything. Uh, my first CD I had, you know, I, the studios I went to, they was just like, yeah, we're we going to master your song. But really, they were just getting all the songs at the same level, but didn't really add, no, didn't really do my songs in detail where they fixed the highs if it was too high or the uh, added bass or fixed the vocals where they'll stand out and make everything pop. But, you know, they were just getting the vocals. I mean, they were just getting the audio even, which, I mean, I go back and listen to it. The record is not bad, but compared to like maybe my favorite CD, I can tell a little difference. Now the average listener may may, may not tell that, but you know uh, a DJ he'll pick up on that. A uh, recording engineer, somebody like that, somebody that's got a professional ear, they'll pick up on something like that. So I think when I go back and listen to it, I say, man, you know it sound good. Only if I would have got a little tweak here and there, you know. But um, there's just something to think about, man. Mastering your music. And um, it's a lot of people you can go to, online services and uh, different people you can get your music to, man. But um, that's what I want to talk about today, mastering your music. It's different than recording and mixing and you got mastering. It's a lot that goes along with it, man. So um, if y'all want to talk about anything on the show, hit me up on my email at dramaticgamble at gmail.com. So till next time, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace out. Chill. Show me something you can do.